Hello, my dear students. Welcome to this amazing video on my Civil Brains channel. So in this video, I'll explain you how you can improve your skills and reach to a better position in a construction company. Even if you're a fresher, it's okay. Or even if you're someone who's having one or two years of experience and just want to elevate yourself in the construction industry, what are the courses that you can enroll for, right? So in this lecture, I'll speak about my advanced quantity serving and cost estimation with BBS course. So the whatever prices you are seeing, that is not a final price. If you stay till the end of the lecture, you'll get the final price for this. So before that, we need to understand what a construction company expects from us. For example, this is one of a company called Shapurji Pallonji. And what they're looking is they want someone who can prepare bill according to bill of quantities, preparing the bar binding schedule of a different building elements like footing, column, beam, slab. You have to do it manually and also you should be knowing to do it on the Excel sheets, something like this. So this is how the quantity estimation is worked out. I'll show you same for the BBS as well. Then they want someone who can prepare the measurement sheets of concrete and shuttering to be claimed in the bill. They want someone who can calculate the exact quantities of the concrete and steel to eliminate the wastage. So basically they want someone who can do all the estimation. So this particular course of quantity estimation, I'm going to teach you for almost 50 hours of the content where I'll teach you right on a live project how to take out the quantities right from the excavation to the PCC, footing, concrete and all. So first I'll show you the content of that course. So this is what the course is all about. Quantity surveying and cost estimate with BBS, which is almost a 49 hours of a content. And this is the course content what you get to see. First, we'll start with the introduction to the quantity estimation. Then I'll give you certain assignments. First I'll teach you, then I'll give the assignments on a G plus two office building, G plus two office building, a school building project and all. Then we'll start with the calculations of the concrete for a slope footing that is trapezoidal. Then we'll do it uh, for a rough foundation. We'll do it for a step footing. So first I'll teach you with the help of this Excel sheets and you will be preparing the Excel sheets on your own. I won't be giving you the Excel sheet. If I give you Excel sheet, then you are just doing a control C and control V. Just copy and input the values. That is not how the subjects are to be taught. That's not how the things are to be learned. So what we will doing is we'll, we'll start with a something, a blank sheet like this. And then I'll be there with you and holding you and teaching you how all this quantity has to be taken for excavation, how much quantity we are going to get for stone soling. If I'm doing how much quantity I'll get, if it is a PCC work or sand filling work, how much quantity each and everything will be taking a G plus two residential building project. And on that, I'm going to teach you all these things. I'll show you that project as well. So this will be a project where we'll be working out. So we'll be taking out all the quantities like F1 footing, F2, F3, all the footing length, breadth and depth I'll be having. I have to input the same values in my Excel sheets and then I'm going to get how much quantity of concreting, shuttering, everything I'm going to teach you here, right? So this is what we are going to cover. After that, once this is done, next we'll go to the superstructure activities like plin beam PCC concreting, then plin beam shuttering quantity, plin beam concrete quantity, and then the backfilling quantities and all. After that, we'll, we'll go with the ground floor column, the beam concreting, the beam shuttering, then we'll put up the slab concreting, slab centering and all. So you can see all the contents given here and then we'll go to the staircase part. Then we'll go to the interior part, like how you calculate the brickwork, then the uh, plastering, then the painting, the wall putty, the painting and all these things. You can see all the things which I've explained, then come the ceiling plastering and all. Then the wall dado, the tiles estimations and all those things, waterproofing work. Then we'll come to the most important part is that is the bar bending schedule. So for the bar bending schedule, we'll start with the footing bar bending. We'll finish everything for isolated footing, combined footing, rough foundation and, and then for step footing, then we'll do it for the column. Then we'll do it for two leg stir up, four leg, six leg, eight, 10, 12, 16 stir up, 16 leg. Then we'll come to the beam bar bending like uh, normal, uh, normal fixed beam, then a continuous beam. We have a cantilever beam. We have a beam where a side face reinforcement comes. So all those things I've covered it here, which is almost a four hour, 40 minutes only on the BBS part, which is almost five hour, 20 minutes on the column bar bending, which is almost four hour, 12 minutes on the footing BBS. Then we'll come to the interesting part. That is a slab, which is almost a three hour, 22 minutes slab complete BBS. I'm going to teach you here. Then once this is done, we'll go to the costing and rate analysis part. So then we'll try to prepare all the BOQs. And then finally the rate analysis mastery course we are going to do, right? So on the Excel sheet, I'll show it quickly for your understanding. This is how we are going to start. Then I'll be giving you certain assignments. Then we'll do for the step footing. All the Excel sheets will be prepared by you and I'll be there to guide you out. Then for the painting, how much quantity of paint is required? What is the total area of paint that is required in your building? Then we'll go with the material costing. This is a complete costing part. Like if I want to put up a building, 
how much is the total material cost in that how much concrete how much cement how much sand how much aggregate is required what is the total cost for the project then how much masonry work is there how much paint is required how much wall put is required and all then we'll go to the flooring part how much tiles is required we'll calculate now in the same way the plastering will be done when the waterproofing work and all these things now this is my ground floor column ground floor slab uh, all these quantities we are going to find it here okay so once we are done with that then we'll start with the bill of quantities preparation this is called as boq in that we are going to write each and every description here we'll see what is the units of mode of measurement then we'll put the quantity we'll multiply that by the rate what is happening in the market and then we get the total amount so for the building what we have done it will cost us around 80 lakh 16 thousand 198 rupees and then we'll go to the rate analysis part where we are going to do the rate analysis of each of the object when i say rate analysis for example let us say i'm doing a plastering work and for the plastering in the market the rate is if i'm if i want to do a 2 mm plastering the rate is 282 rupees per square meter but how did 282 rupees is coming into play so that we get from the rate analysis where we you can see it here it's a 6 mm so this is 20 mm outside plastering and this is a 12 mm so you can see the rate finally the rate will come something like this where you put the contractor profit you add a gst on that you have a labor you have a material sand off so all these things will be covered in my quantity estimation course and then we'll be learning the bar bending schedule so this is how the entire bbs will be done i'll be teaching you how to prepare such excel sheets all these shapes how it has to be put and all so next will come will this is my column bbs so you can see all these are my column bbs you are going you are going to do all the stir up shapes and all then we'll come to the beam stir up i mean the beam bbs part so all these are my beam so this is a total quantity of steel that is required in the beam. Okay. So these things will be doing. I'll be there to help you out. Then we'll be doing the slab bar bending schedule. This is completely a cut reinforcement slab. Next one. Next we are going to see what is chair bar and all. Okay. So in this way, each and everything we are going to cover in this particular course. Right. So the mesh more. Yeah. And then you can go through the reviews of this course also. There's one more course of mine, but I was, I would suggest you to go for this course because it's an updated course what I have. Almost a 49 hours of a content I'm giving you. And the cost of this course right now, if you buy it, okay, it is only for four to five days of offer. After that, it will go back to the original price of 799. Sometime it is available for 1499. Right now, if you enroll in this course, you will get it only for 499 rupees. I've given a link in the comment section. Click on that. And you can enroll in the course and you get a 30 days refund policy. If you don't like my content, you can ask for the refund and you can take your money back. Right. So this is my second course. What I'm explaining before this, I already explained my site engineer course, which is a very good course. Almost 5000 students have enrolled in this. And even the cost of this course is 499 rupees. So right now it is showing 3299. But till the offer last, you can buy my course for 499 rupees. And once the offer is done, it will go back to the original price. And then you're not going to get it for 499 again. So this is my second course. Other than that, there are other courses like drawing reading and all. So in the next lecture, I'll explain you what is my drawing reading course about how you can uh, improve your skills in the drawing reading part. So other than that, go through the reviews given by the students. If you're interested, you can look into the reviews given by the students so that you get an idea to what level you are going to uh, gain knowledge from my course and all these Excel sheets. You'll be doing it on your own. I'll be there to help you out in everything right from the scratch. I've explained you how to prepare these shapes, how to write all these things. So looking forward for your participation in the course. So we'll see you in the next lecture.